Hey everyone and welcome to DCF Garage. Today we're going to work on this 2003 Cadillac DeVille. If you haven't seen it, we've already fixed a misfire code that was a P0300 and P0306. Uh, watch this video, I'm going to leave the link here um, in the card. But what we're going to do today in the process of diagnosing the misfire, something happened and the OBG2 port stopped communicating with the vehicle. Um, so the OBD2 port does have power, I'm going to show you guys, but it's not connecting to the vehicle. So we need to be able to plug our reader and check the codes. So I really need to try to diagnose this and I'm going to take you guys with me. So let me show you what I'm talking about and tell you what I've already done. Let's go in the car. Let me put the key in the ignition. Put it on the on position. So I'm gonna connect my super cheap $15 OBD2 reader just to show you guys, but I I was using I was using Blue Driver and it was not connecting. So it's not the reader, and I've tested this reader on another car and it is working perfectly. I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting, the glare. I drew do my best job, guys, but I'm just gonna ask it to read the vehicle and you're going to see it just stays here waiting for vehicle to respond it does not evolve and even if i turn on the vehicle it doesn't matter it does not change a few things can cause this uh, one being uh, bad battery so low voltage on the battery we're going to check that another one is bent pins a cut wire um, so we, we're going to have to check the wiring on the OBD2 port also, and also a bad ECU, right? So uh, we can have just a bad computer. It might have gone bad uh, in the process of diagnosing, and there's nothing we're going to be able to do about that and aside replacing putting a new computer, which might be the case. But first, let's try to diagnose and fix this and see if, if it's something simple. But as you can see, it says, fail to connect, verify that the ignition's on, check if the scan tool OBD connector is securely connected. So is it securely connected? It is. Let's try to scan and it stays waiting for vehicle to respond. So it's securely connected. We're gonna start with the simple stuff by checking the pins here. I'm gonna remove the connector here these are seven millimeter bolts so i took out the plug so you can see i'm holding the connector here like that and now i can read codes so it is the connector that is loose in my case which is good so it's not a big thing i just have to find a way to disassemble this and uh, adjust the connectors again so they have good contact so let me try to fix this so looking at the pins here, they all look good. None of them are rusted. Now I'm gonna do a very simple drag test with a paper clip. So these are very, very loose. These two pins. This one is decent. This one is tight. Oh, this one is tight. So I'm gonna to try to adjust these two pins to see if it makes a difference. Let me try to disconnect this. Okay, so I managed to remove the blue tabs from behind so I could access the connectors and then there is a little black tab at the connector that you push down and you pull on the wire so that's what i did what i'm going to try to do now is tighten this pin a little bit more if this doesn't work we're going to have to end up replacing the connector but i think i think we can make this work what i did in the back here i pushed in the connector here so it kind of presses against the against the wall you know eventually this needs to be replaced so this is just a temporary fix let me try to put the connector back in and this is number two yep it snapped on okay so we did number two now i'm gonna do 
number four. Gonna hold number four a little bit, so give it a little bit of traction in the back while I pull the tab. And I think the hardest is not to pull this on this too hard. That's the hardest thing to do because they're fragile. So I'm gonna push it inside, test it with a clip, see if it works. Yep, so much better now. It's got more traction. We're gonna go back in and this is number four that I pulled out. Okay, number four. Now I'm gonna remove number five. Same thing, just gonna put a little bit of traction on the wire here. So when it snaps. Okay, so I pulled number five. Same thing. I'm gonna press it in. Test it with the paper clip. Okay, so I got some traction now. I'm gonna go back with number five. Number five. All right, snapped. And now we're gonna go all the way to, what number is this? So number 16, here at the bottom. So this is 16, same thing. Push it in. Okay, I think it snapped. See if it reads. All right, so now we can read codes and that's a problem with the OBD2 port. I hope this was useful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. Thank you.